Okay, I have a couple of items for all of you at the top. Uh, as we mentioned uh, later today in our guidance last night, I should say, later today the President will sign an executive order to make sexual harassment an offense in the Uniform Code of Military Justice. This historic addition to the UCMJ honors, honors the memory of Army Specialist uh, Vanessa Gann, whose experience with severe sexual harassment was followed by a brutal murder, catalyzing national attention to the scourge of sexual violence in our military and helping advance bipartisan military justice reform in the 2022 uh, NDAA. This executive order also delivers on a key recommendation from the Independent Review Commission to strengthen the military justice response in prosecuting cases of domestic violence and fully implements changes to the UCMJ to criminalize the wrongful broadcast or distribution of intimate visual images. The Biden-Harris administration thanks Congress for its bipartisan commitment to pass monumental reforms to our military justice system and codify key recommendations from the IRC, the Independent Review uh, commission. We also look forward to continuing to work with Congress to support the safety and dignity of our service members. Also wanted to note that today we hit a major milestone in our global effort to be the arsenal of vaccines. 400 million doses shipped to 112 countries uh, for free with no strings attached. To put America's leadership into perspective, we have shipped four times more free doses to the world than any other country. And this is on top of our efforts to expand manufacturing at home and abroad, our close partnerships with manufacturers to provide their vaccines to hard hit areas, and our work to turn vaccines into vaccinations around the globe. Last item for you. Uh, Today, uh, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau launched a new initiative to save American families billions of dollars a year in unexpected and hidden fees charged by banks and financial companies. Right now, as I'm sure many of you know, banks and credit card companies lock you in with low rates only to charge you high fees after the fact. If you've ever used a credit card, which I'm sure everybody in this room has, uh, you are familiar with this. Um, you're familiar with all those extra fees, balance transfer fees, late fees, and more. They add up. Collectively, the CFPB estimates that these junk fees drain tens of billions of dollars per year from American families. Consumers are already starting to feel the benefits of the CFPB's work in this space. After the CFPB published a report on bank overdraft fees in December, many large banks, Bank of America, Capital One, and Wells Fargo, announced they would reduce or eliminate some of these fees. That's an important start, but not enough, which is why the CFPB is interested in hearing about everyday Americans' experiences with unexpected fees. This latest initiative by the CFPB was previewed at this uh, week's uh, competition council meeting, and it's just one of the ways we are, uh, one of the steps we are taking uh, to go after excessive fees that companies use to hide the true cost of products. From airline tickets to high speed internet services, uh, agencies are planning uh, internet service fees, I should say, agencies are planning actions over the coming months that will make prices clear up front so that consumers can save money by choosing the best deals for them.